When the red light's on, we're on air. What's up, guys? So, company Ansel sent me uh, a product, and uh, I actually like this thing, so I figured I'd do a video on it. This thing seems pretty nice. Um, I've had some experience with these things, but this one's got a little bit of an added bonus. So, we're gonna crack this thing open. Got a car here. We'll see what it's all about. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, like I said, got the uh, AD 530 little pocket scanner. This thing obviously got your normal protocols in it. You know, you got your PID lift, your graph thing. I'm pretty sure on it. Um, but this thing's got an added little feature here, where it does a battery test for you. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. You could see some of the main functions here. You know, you could obviously read engine codes, um, clear them. It'll give you check engine light, you know, all your PIDs, it is the readiness monitor status, it reads live data, obviously O2 sensor data, most of the stuff some of these pocket scanners do, it has all those features, but like I said, it, it records, um, it can print wirelessly through a PC connection, and it's got the battery test function. So let's get this thing open, see what's in it. You can see, uh, see what it comes with here. So obviously here's the unit, it's got a little uh, USB probably to hook it up through the computer maybe for updates and to print your recordings. And then here's the unit itself, got a nice long cord on it, here's your DLC connector, but it seems pretty nice. Plastic, big enough screen on it, maybe an inch and a half screen or two inch screen. Well, that's the quick unboxing. Let's get this thing so, to you. See what it's got here. About. 2015 Dodge Dart. Customer brought it in for check engine light. Uh, he's all right. His plates are already expired. He's got to pass emission. So obviously we're down to the wire here. Crunch time here. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and use the Ansel, scan it, see what kind of codes we got. Maybe check out some of the function and all that stuff. And like I said, guys, we're gonna learn this together as we go. So hopefully it's like all the other scanners we got. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing's got more features, so it's going to have a little more to it. So let's get it plugged in. So we got a messy car here. Get this thing plugged in. Let's see here. See it power up. Go through some of the functions here. It's got obviously your, your read codes, your monitors. Here's the battery function here, which I thought was really cool. You got your setup menu, looks like uh, review, probably for recording or review, and then typical stuff on these, which is cool to see this in here, is your uh, your code lookup, which is pretty cool. You can look up the code, you know, just punch in the code, and it'll tell you a brief description on it. So PO300 would be your multiple cylinder misfire, random cylinder misfire, let's see what it says. Yeah, there we go. So you can look up the description of the codes. Hit the escape button, go back out. Let's uh, scan this car real quick, see what codes we got in it. It'll go through all your protocols. So that was actually pretty fast. So we're picking up one code. We got three readiness not supported. We got eight complete, but let's go to it, see what codes we got. Read codes. It's got your current pending and permanent codes, which is nice. And <laughs> would you look at that? Coolant thermostat uh, below threshold, regular threshold. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I'm pretty certain I know what this is. I'll uh, I'll sit here and diagnose that in a minute here. But pretty nice. Looks like a one-on-one -on -one code. So it picked up the code pretty quick. Um, and then obviously your you know pending codes. We'll see if there's any in there. Still one of one, same code. And then obviously permanent is going to show the same code too. So you got all your modes there, and then it looks like here's your readiness monitors. Let's see what actually is ready. So it looks like here's the readiness monitors. You got your misfire, okay, fuel system. You got your component, your cats, heat, heated cat not available. The evap is ready. 
oxygen sensor, heated oxygen sensor, EGR is good. It shows them all on one screen there. So actually they are, they are already, two is not supported. Uh, but with a check engine light, obviously he's not going to pass emissions. That's our monitors. Hit the back button. You got our data stream. We got freeze frame. O2 sensor test. Onboard monitor. EVAP test. Some vehicles have this. Some vehicles don't. Let's see if this one supports it. Yeah, it's not supported. Um, and then you get your vehicle information here. Pretty nice stuff. All your uh, CID number and all that VIN will pop up. Uh, let's see. Go back. Curious about data stream here. Let's see what kind of PIDs they have. So it looks like a good amount here. Coolant temperature, that'd be one we'd be looking at there. Short term, long term. Map sensor, vehicle speed. Yeah, it's got a good amount in here, guys. This is actually a pretty decent scanner. These buttons are pretty tactile. You could hear them. It's also followed by a beep here. I don't know if I uh, would like that beep all the time, but let's go back here. Uh, let's see, coolant temp sensor, coolant temperature. There we go. It's got grafting on here, pretty cool. Start this thing real quick. Pretty accurate. Pretty responsive. Not bad. Not bad at all. I personally use, uh, you know, I, I won't use a pocket sc scanner for grafting, but this is cool for, uh, you know, just quick access, checking it out, or if, you know, you're at home in the driveway or something like that. Definitely a nice feature to have. And then you could randomly select them, you know, custom select them and all that stuff. You could view them all at once. Pretty cool stuff. Always like these little pocket scanners with, with big PIDs. Here's your uh, live data here, your load, coolant temperature, long term, short term, pretty cool stuff. Let's see, go back again, freeze frame. Let's see what other, uh, are you sure you want to exit? Okay, hit okay. Let's check out the, uh, here, I'm going to turn this thing off. Let's check out this battery function here which I thought was really cool please turn ignition off oh, we got a uh, let me turn these headlights on kill that battery down there we got a surface charge on there the wipers on alright there we go that should be good So it even picks up the surface charge on the battery. Let's see if that's low enough. Please turn the ignition off. Start detection. Turn the ignition on. So you guys can see, when I turn the ignition on, it gives you your min max, gives you your ripple, the voltage. Start this thing real quick, see what happens. Yeah, it's giving us the current voltage. Looks like we're at four and a half. Is that grafting moving? Yeah, wow, it looks like it's showing. No, okay. It's not, the graph's not moving, but it still gives you live voltage on the battery. So just a quick, you know, you're unsure of uh, alternator or battery or something like that. You know, get a quick uh, voltage check on it through the uh, DLC connector. That's pretty cool. And then it gives you your, you know, starting min. Shows you pretty much amperage, all that. You get a ripple, your min max. Pretty cool stuff. Just a quick one on the monitors. Check all your monitors here. And then it gives you a rundown of what the colors mean. Really cool. All right, guys, so that's it. We just made quick work of it. Did a quick uh, vehicle scan on this uh, 15 Dodge Dart. 
pretty decent scanner guys I mean you guys are looking into pocket scanners out there it's uh, you know running out to the parking lot or you know you're at home you're not at the shop or want to scan your own car your neighbor's car do a favor for them definitely a cool scanner to look into um, like the added bonus of being able to do a quick check on the battery voltage and the ripple and all that stuff it has on there there's probably a couple features obviously you know more in here with the recording and all that stuff you know I don't personally use recording and all that stuff for pocket scanners but great little feature to have if you guys out there that do so you guys are looking to pick this thing up I got all the info on it down in the descriptions uh, obviously we're gonna have a coupon code for 20% off plus another 20% off if you use the link so I, I believe up to 40% off for these things you guys looking into one of them definitely a great product you know I, I, I've had I've used Ansel before I got their uh, battery tester I got a few other little products with them but definitely a cool scanner definitely a nice one little backup pocket scanner to have for uh, your guys arsenal or if you're looking into something like this so quick one for you guys like comment subscribe Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.